You ever go to share a video or image with someone only to be hit with the dreaded, your file is too large warning? Well, FF Share is a super simple tool that lets you compress images and videos to a much more reasonable size before you share them. When you go to share your media of choice, all you need to do is find and tap the FF Share option and that'll then compress your media. And the great part is that it hardly removes any quality. It also removes EXIF tags, which is great for privacy. And to top it all off, the app is completely free and open source. All right, second up today is not necessarily an application, strictly speaking, but it's my latest wallpaper pack called Retro. As the name implies, this pack is filled with 10 retro tech inspired wallpapers and each wallpaper also has a bunch of variants to go with. You get both dark and light mode variants, you also get lock screen and home screen variants and then a few of the wallpapers also have some additional variations to go with just to give you even more options. Every single wallpaper has been crafted from the ground up with some of the wallpapers containing well over 100 layers. And beyond all that, if you use the code RETRO30 at checkout, then you'll get 30% off this wallpaper pack for the entire month of November. And then if you're looking for an icon pack that pairs perfectly with the retro wallpaper pack, well then I've got two options for you, the buttons icon pack and the knobs icon pack. And in case you didn't know, these are actually both my icon packs as well. And both packs are filled with icons that are made to look like, well, buttons and knobs. Both packs have launched with over 2000 icons supported. There's also a bunch of color variations to go with. Plus both packs have these amazing masking systems implemented so that any unthemed icons don't stick out like a sore thumb. I mean, you just gotta take my word for it. These icon packs truly do go perfectly with the retro wallpaper pack. So if you like the look of the setups that you've been seeing on screen, then you should absolutely check them out. All right, from there, we have perhaps one of the most anticipated browser apps to launch in recent memory, Arc Search. And folks, let me tell you right now, this is one of the best designed browser apps that I've ever come across on Android, period. For those who haven't heard of it, Arc Browser is a super modern web browser that has been gaining popularity over the past couple of years. And for a long time, users have been asking for an Android version and well, now we've got it. Now, you can just use it as a browser replacement app and along with its incredible design, it also has its own ad blocking service built in, which is great. But then what's really neat is that it also has this AI powered search interface. So you just type in your search query and then tap on browse for me and the app will then generate an AI powered summary of that search. The only downside at the moment is that I can't currently see a way to sync data from the desktop version to the mobile app and vice versa. So hopefully that's added in a not too distant software update. Then we have Pin It. And if you're like me and you found yourself accidentally dismissing important notifications or you want an easier way to keep track of important notifications, then this is the app for you. The app keeps your entire notification history saved, which you can then come back to at any time, but then you're actually able to pin any notifications, which will not only restore them to your system notification panel, but it'll also pin them to the top so that even when other notifications come in, they'll stay front of mind. And if you accidentally dismiss them again, they'll just come right on back. You can also add notes to notifications and schedule them to arrive at a certain time. And you can even create completely new notifications from scratch as well, which is so handy. Add on to that, that the app itself just has a seriously incredible design with super fluid animations. And man, this is an app I can see myself using for a long, long time to come. And then another incredible app that lets you save and manage, well, pretty much anything that you can think of is today's video sponsor, Keep It. And if you're someone like me who is constantly sending yourself messages with posts that you've seen or links to articles or videos that you wanna watch later, only to forget to actually check them out when you have the time, well, this is the app for you. Basically, whenever you're browsing the web or checking out your socials, if you see something that you wanna bookmark for later on, you just tap to share it, then select the Keep It app, select to keep or create a new one, then tap on save. And that's it. You can then continue to share literally anything that's shareable, such as recipes, TV show recommendations, Twitter posts, articles, YouTube videos. If you can share it, you can save it. And then anytime you think, oh yeah, what was that TV show that I was thinking about watching? Well, instead of having to sift through a long message chat history in the hopes that you'll find it, now you can just open up the Keep It app and everything that you've ever saved will be there, organized into one clean and easy to use interface. Oh, and by the way, the app is completely free to use and it has no ads whatsoever. 
So to streamline your digital organization, check out Keep It using the first link down in the description below. Okay, halfway down the list today, the next up is a super simple app called Spot On. And if you've ever found yourself needing to turn your phone's hotspot on, but you're tired of having to get your phone to actually do so, well, this is an app that lets you turn on your phone's hotspot instantly using a smartwatch. You just install it on both your smartwatch and on your phone, grant it a couple of permissions, and that's it. You can now activate your phone's hotspot using your smartwatch, even when it's locked, as long as it's connected to your phone. Very handy. And then speaking of handy little apps, Always On Display Toggle is another one that I've actually been using quite a bit lately. As the name so helpfully suggests, this is an app that lets you place a toggle into your quick settings menu that lets you quickly enable or disable your phone's Always On Display. And that's it. But for those times where you wanna save a bit of battery or you wanna keep your phone's display off overnight, for example, this little toggle comes in clutch. Just keep in mind that it does require permissions to be granted via Shizuku. Then we have Lumo Light, and this is a free and open source app that unlocks a bunch of useful features related to your phone's flashlight. Now, aside from just letting you turn on or off your phone's torch, the app also lets you adjust its intensity if your phone supports that feature. You can also set it to turn off your phone's torch after a predetermined amount of time, or to blink your torch at different beat per minute rates. And then it also allows you to use your phone's screen as a torch, which you can then customize to different colors and intensities. Beyond all of that, the app is just wrapped up in a super clean material-based design. So it's definitely a neat little app that I reckon a lot of people are gonna find super useful. Okay, second to last today is Pi Launcher. And if you're looking for a unique third-party home screen launcher to try out, this one is super cool. It essentially clears everything from your screen, but then when you press and hold, you get this floating menu of your most frequently used apps, and you just need to swipe over to the app that you wanna open, and there you go. From there, you can tap to launch an app drawer filled with all of your apps, and you can also access the settings via this page, which allows you to make a few tweaks, including changing up the icon pack. And then finally today, we have Auto Clicker, and judging by the amount of downloads this app has, there's a fair chance that you've already heard of this app, but I've been looking for a way to speed up the process of bulk uninstalling apps using one of my other apps called AppDrop. And well, this is the solution I've been using recently. You just tap on enable, then you open whichever app you want the auto clicker to do its work in. So in my case, I'm gonna open up my app called AppDrop. Then as an example, I'm just gonna select a bunch of apps here that I wanna bulk uninstall, then tap uninstall, and then I can just move the target to where it says okay, then tap the play button. And just like that, all of those apps will uninstall without me having to press a single button. And once complete, I can then just tap the stop icon, and there we go. And so there you have it, 10 really cool Android apps that I reckon you should definitely try out. If you enjoyed the video, then a sub to the channel would be greatly appreciated. But that's it, thank you all very much for watching and I'll catch you later.